I'm Stephen Han from Archery Supplies and today we're here to test shoot the new PSC Expedite. Um, this bow is new for 2018 from PSC. It shoots at 360 feet per second, 33 inch, bra 33 inch axle axle with the Evolve cam system. Now the Evolve cam system was big in 2017 because the draw cycle was really easy offered lots of adjustability in draw length so this bow is adjustable in draw length from 24.5 to 30 inches um, the brace height is 5.5 and a quarter inches so a really short brace height here which is how you're picking up the speed in this bow um, the evolve cam system is a twin cam system with yokes top and bottom um, and you can also replace the module to go to a low let off. Now I haven't physically shot this bow yet. Um, it's got a design on the riser very much like the Elite style bows. The bow is slightly top heavy so it kind of rolls in your hand so I'm interested to see how this bow shoots. It's got the new PSE cable guide, cable slide and, right, and guide for 20 18 where it's actually thinner at this part here to cause the flex and adjustable at the front so that's new the string stops have been replaced with carbon rods to make it stronger um, the live wire strings from PSC these are made on a computer and PSC put a fair bit of twist in the strings now the reason they use twist is to stop the peep rotation PSC found the strings have become more stable if you put twists in them now questions there's a roller slide here if you serve the string here where it goes over the roller the strings will last longer how long will it last without doing that they tend to last a fair bit of time i did have one one customer complain to me last week maybe still complaining that her her son's strings are showing signs of wear after 18 16 months of shooting yeah like they probably will uh, <laughs> like strings do wear and they are a wear factor and this is the wear point here on the string this where the string also touches your face is a wear factor um, keep your strings well waxed um, they tend to last longer common question for me is when do i wax my strings as soon as i look dry if they look dry I wax them i did have one of my customers say to me the other archery shop said don't wax your strings ever well, if you want to buy new strings all the time, don't wax your strings. Um, anyway, so this finish is the charcoal, and you'll see the finish is kind of, it's like a rough finish. It's not the typical PSE smooth anodized finish. Now, you're either going to like this or not like it. I, I like it, um, especially in the hunting. This is a hunting speed bow. I like the finish. It looks tough. Um... The bow comes in camo black. Um, the cryptic camo, and I think they do the bow in some colors as well. So the physical weight of this bow, um, it's definitely lighter than the Evolve, and I don't have the number on the top of my hand. It feels like it's about 4.3, 4.4 4 pound bow. Not heavy at all to lift. Um, it's got the limb locking system, which is standard on all your PSE bows, and what that does, the wedge lock system. This little screw here pushes the limbs into the um, bracket so the limbs can't move. Like, is it a sales point? Not really to me. It's really, how does this bow shoot at 360 feet per second? How, what's the draw cycle like? And what's the price point on this bow compared to other bows? to make this bow a seller. So let's first off try the draw cycle out. So, sorry, things I missed. This bow can be wound down 10 turns on the limb bolts. Um, and one of the questions is gonna be, what does 10 pounds do? What does 10 turns do on poundage? I've wound this bow down four pounds, four turns, and it's wound the bow down exactly five pounds. Now, it's got this thing here, I'm hoping you can zoom in on it. These little limb pockets here, this little dot here, makes the PSE easy to wind down and easy to wind up. So, 
um, very easy to adjust the poundage on this bow. Some of the bows, like the PSE Expression, which is the bow I'm, I shoot, is almost impossible to turn the limb bolts. It's like, oh, you know, it's almost stuck um, because they put a Loctite on the, on the screw. Um, this is like simple and you'll see, I'm gonna wind this bow down the full 10 turns and then we're gonna check the poundage. This is a 65 pound bow set on 29 inches. I'm 28 and a half, um, I haven't made any adjustments. So let's just try the draw cycle. So this is smooth all the way through. Oh, wow. Oh. So what the draw cycle is like, it's like solid, 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 valley stops. So there's no valley at all. With the Evolve cam system, the Evolve 35, it's kind of smooth, 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 valley, like big valley. No valley in this boat. Now with the Evolve cam system, just up here, I'm hoping I can see that, you can change this draw stop to increase and decrease the size of the valley, which is changing your draw length. Now this bow has come factory set on the biggest, biggest let off. And I can feel it. The let off is 75%. But when I draw it back, it really just drops straight into that valley. There's no gradual rollover, which is how you're getting your speed. So how would I compare this draw cycle? I would compare it to better than the full throttle as far as the draw cycle. Um, definitely the Evolve, the Evolve 35, the Carbon Airs, much easier draw cycle than this as far as that valley as soon as that valley hits you can feel it in your shoulder now this bow i've got selling 60 pounds i shoot 60 pounds for target and as soon as that dropped into that valley i could feel it in my shoulder so let's just draw that back here's all easy it just feels like normal now it's starting to build oh bang now i'm just gonna let that down again now if you're shooting a blade rest um which is what most target archers shoot that valley is probably going to cause the arrow some bouncing. So it's almost going to be impossible to draw back that last little bit smooth. So that's where the drop away rests like the QADs and any drop away style of rest will come in, the biscuit rests. So if I was shooting this, this bow, I'd definitely be shooting a drop away arrow rest. I wouldn't be using the blade system. So. I mean, am I going to be able to draw this bow back smoothly with the blade after I get used to it? Maybe. So let's just, I'm going to shoot the shot this time out because I'm, I'm interested to see what the vibration's like, what the noise is like, and how the bow sits in my hand afterwards. So let's have a go. Right. Once I'm back here, it's easy. Whoa. Wow. That is... Oh. That is fast. That is fast. <laughs> that is really fast. Now I shoot the full throttle. I normally have it here. It must be at home. Um, this is fun. Oh, she's, she's a speed machine. That's incredibly fast, like really fast. Just gonna have another shot. Now there is some vibration in the shot. So I do get a little bit of this when I shoot the bow. Um, the bow, bow reminds me, God, it's good to shoot. Um, it reminds me very much of the Decree um, with the CC cam, if you know the CC cam. The CC cam is their fast cam, which was the cam which they used on the inertia bow. The draw cycle is very, very similar. It, that was a speed bow. This is a speed bow. Um, the grip is wider than the Inertia um, and the old Decree. It's skinnier grip than the later fatter grips that PSE came out with. It's a very comfortable grip. So let's just try another shot.
You'll see that even the even the bow is forward heavy, the bow sits there in the shot. Now the reason that occurs is because this is your pressure point down here. But even the bow, the even though the bow wants to balance, and if I hold the bow like that, it clearly balances down. That's because your balance point is back actually back here somewhere. So in the shot itself, the bow's not leaning forward. Um, which is what I suspected it would have done when I felt the balance of this bow, but with some of the other bows in PSE's lineup, the balance in your hand is just perfect, it's straight up and down. But when you shoot it, you'll find the bow will kick slightly in your hand. This is such a fun bow to shoot. Like, it's such a fun bow. Now the bow aims well, like I'm I'm concentrating on how my pin is sitting on the target. The pin is sitting on the target really well. Um, now the noise of this bow, it's fast. Um, I think the noise is probably equivalent to the full throttle. Um, it's quite a sharp, crisp noise, it's not a twang. It's not a twang because these strings and cable are under, under so much pressure because of the can't because of the pressure on the limbs. The riser feels really stiff to shoot, and when I say that, it just means it feels solid. Um, very, very different to the Evolve 35. If you shoot this in the Evolve 35, completely different bows. Not they're not even similar. So I'm interested, like, if you get to shoot one of these, drop a line to see which one you prefer, because this is, the Evolve 35 very much feels like a target bow to shoot. Um, this is just a... It's just a gun. I do get a bit of left and right um, vibration after the shot, which is what you expect because of the cables pulling to the side, um, but so fast. Like really an interesting bow to shoot. Um, so if you get a if you get if you get a chance, always if the shops let you, always have a shot with the new bows because they're kind of cool to have a shot with. And you can make your own judgment whether the bow is good or not good. I really like this bow. Um, how do I rate this bow compared to other bows I shot? So I owned a Decree CC for two years. I only just sold it because I was about to replace it with a new model. Um, I like the Carbon Air because it's such a smooth draw cycle. Such a light bow to shoot. So I really like the Carbon Air for 2016, 2017. But this, this is a speed bow with adjustability. Um, easier to shoot than the Bowtech 3, 360s RPMs. Much easier, no, no question. The draw cycle is far, far superior to this than the Bowtech. The... Full throttle doesn't have the adjustments that this bow has. This bow is easier to draw than the full throttle, although similar to the full throttle. Um, the shot with this bow is easier than a full throttle. Um, full throttle is a harder bow to shoot due to balance. So. So if you get a chance, have a shot. Now I'm going to do some more reviews on this. I'm going to put it through the chronograph. I'm actually going to shoot some scores with this bow because I'm really interested to see what sort of score I can shoot with this bow uh, at distance. So I just wanted to do a quick video on shooting this bow to see what it was like because I was really excited to see how the bow physically feels in the hand, in the draw cycle, to see what PSC produced because this bow is very, very different for PSC um in their lineup it's not like something that produced before so but it's it's pretty it's pretty
pretty good. So the next videos I'm going to do is speed, and then I'm going to do one, and I'm going to shoot some scores with it at you know longer distances. I might even do some 50s and 60 meters and see what sort of see what sort of things I get with it. Now, if you see what I, what happened then, I was I thought I was about to hit the valley. I didn't. And then, because the valley drops off so quick, my hand went forward because I was exp I was preempting the valley, so I was kind of relaxing into the valley, but I hadn't hit the valley yet. So that's what happens with speed bows. Um, I had a person in my shop today who shoots a Bowtech, the fast Bowtech, and he said, "Oh, you know, if I let off, then I'm doing this." And I'm like, "Yeah, I know what you're talking about." Okay. So we've done a full four, four, four turns. This bow allows 10 turns in, in limb rotations. And I'm just going to show you how easy it is to turn. So that's five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, Eight, so I've got two more turns. One, two, one, two. So you can see how much the limbs are actually out at this point, but the, the limbs are still under tension, the strings are still under tension. So can you shoot a PSE fully wound down? Absolutely, because there's still tension on these limbs there's still tension on the strings and cables. Under With a bow which doesn't have pre-tension limbs, as you wind the bow down, physically these strings and cables become very slack so they don't shoot very well. But with PSE that's not the case. So the question is, this is a 65 pound bow. 65 pound bow with 10 turns off, what poundage does it draw? And let's just measure it. But the, these um, these limb pivot systems are really really good. So I'm hoping that comes up. Forty nine fifty pounds. So the bow is adjustable from sixty five to fifty pounds, and I just want to have a shot at this bow at fifty pounds. Because what you often find with speed bows is at at 60 pounds, at 60 pounds they feel very different to at 50. So if I had a sparrow, We'll just have one more shot. Let's see what this bow's like at 50 pounds. Now at 50 pounds, the draw cycle just feels like nothing. The valley's still still sharp. There's still no valley. It's still a sharp drop off at the end, but the start off is just just easy. It's like nothing, 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 and then there. So let's just shoot that shot. And that noise you hear is me just Robin Hood in an arrow. Um, so the speed bows, the full throttle included, and all the speed bows will shoot easier at the lighter poundage. Um, this bow, no exception, at lighter poundage, easier bow to shoot. And a lot of hunters will choose to go for a speed bow and wind the bow down because they still get the same force, the same energy as a as a slower shooting bow at a higher poundage. So you can shoot, let's say this bow at 50 pounds and get the same speed and same energy as a 60 pound bow, but it'd be so much easier on the body. So that's very, very common. Um, and that bow at 50 pounds was very, very easy. So overall, really love the bow, really keen to shoot it at some long distance, which we're gonna take it out to the range and shoot some long distance. And we'll do another video where we shoot some long distance with it. So I'm Stephen Hand from Archery Supplies. Enjoy your archery. Shoot lots of arrows and you will improve. And in the background, there's my little puppy, Marla. 
Bella, come here. And this is my puppy. This is my puppy. This is Marla. Okay, thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next video. She's my archery dog. Thanks, bye.